All right, hi, and welcome back, Attorney Steve Vaughn, and welcome to another exciting video. So we're talking in this video about NFTs. Everybody's talking NFTs is gonna be the next big thing to the moon, to the moon, to Mars and back, you know, forever. This is the greatest thing since sliced bread. So I wanna take a quick look, and I'm not saying it's not, by the way, but let's take a quick look. This is one of the, this is OpenSea.io. It's one of the big OpenSea uh, shopping markets, if you will, where you can come by different kinds of NFTs, all NFTs, art, collectibles, domain names, music, photography, sports, trading cards, utility uh, works, and virtual worlds. So let's take a quick look at that. So you can buy different things in virtual worlds, NFT, Crypto Sandbox is one of the big where you can go and buy land and things like that. So they have all kinds of things. I'm going to do this in another video, by the way. I'm actually going to try to buy a piece of land here in the metaverse, okay? I might set up a digital dispute center. Who knows? <laughs> okay, so let's go back here. Let's go to, but I want to talk about really specifically is what are you buying? When you buy this, you know, you set up your MetaMask wallet or whatever wallet you're using, and you come in here and you buy things with your ETH. So, but my question is, well, what do you get when you buy it? So what's this? This looks pretty cool. I say, yeah, that's something I might want. Okay, so the pr it's priced in ETH. Okay, uh, <laughs> it is pretty cool. Uh, 194 bucks. So I say, well, you know what? That is pretty cool. I'd like to buy that. I'm Frank, season one, whatever that means. Here's the owner. The creator, uh, you would you would assume this is the creator of the digital product here, the digital artwork. But again, you don't know. You need to make sure you're doing your due diligence when you're buying this. And um, but let's see what happens. You want to know what you're buying. So let's go to the buy now. And you can see there it is right there. It's 194 bucks, 0.0578 ETH. And you go, okay, I want to see the terms of service. What am I buying before I check out? And so um, it has, a, has a, a lot of stuff here. I'm not going to go over all this. You can look at it if you want. It talks about um, ownership and, you know, when people load, when you're an artist and you load things up here to OpenSea, you're giving them a right to display it and sell it and everything else. Um, but I want to just talk about this and let's go down here a little bit. But intellectual property rights. If there's disputes, they fall under the DMCA. You can see here the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. So if somebody thinks you're posting something that's not uh, copyrighted, um, that's copyrighted of theirs, then they could send you a DMCA takedown notice, force you to take down your NFT as a creator. And um, this is on the creator side. And you know the, the rights holder could come and sue you. And now everybody needs to be aware there is a copyright small claims court coming in Washington, D.C. The claims are up to $30,000, $30,000. So it's not such a small claim anymore. So you do have to be careful as a creator putting things up. But also the buyer, you need to make sure you know what you're buying. So I wasn't able to uh, look. I looked in here, but I was not. Maybe I missed it, but I was not able to find anything that says you will actually own um the the copyrights to the nft that you're buying so that cool thing that i just bought uh or that i just looked at i'm frank which is cool now if i own that or i could put it on a t-shirt i own the copyrights to it maybe i could write a book called i'm frank based on this character but i don't get the copyrights the copyright holder is still retaining those copyrights so a lot of people, I, I just tell you this because I think a lot of people don't realize that all they're really getting is the token, the token that represents this uh, piece of art and a certificate of digital ownership, so to speak, because it's all recorded on the blockchain, okay, on the Ethereum blockchain. So that's, um, you know, that's what you're getting here. And so you just need to know that. I also want to show out for you, uh, show this for your creators. This is what we call an indemnification clause that's in their license. Uh, if you do something wrong or they get sued, you can see it right here by agreeing you agree to the fullest extent permitted by law to indemnify, defend, and hold a harmless open sea, past, present, future, uh, everybody. Look at this. It's very, very expansive from and against all claims, damages, awards, judgments, losses, liabilities, obligations, penalties, interest, fees, expenses, including uh, attorney fees, including costs. 
uh, of any kind whatsoever. So when you're posting stuff, you better have the rights to it or you better have a very clear and obvious fair use right. You may have things that are in the public domain. You may have creative commons, whatever you have. You may have licenses. Save all that in a folder because if not, you could be uh, subject to an indemnification claim if a plaintiff counsel wants to go after it. I assume we do a lot of photo infringement cases. I assume NFTs are just going to be the next flavor of the day once everything gets around to that. So here it is. That's the terms of service. If you're comfortable not owning it, um, you know, make sure you know what you're doing and make sure that's fine with you. Also, if you want to get this, if you want to get the rights, you can always contact this person um, and try to work something out and say, hey, you know, I really like this. I'm Frank, but I need more expansive rights. Um, you can go find them on various social media. I need more expansive rights. What can I what can I do here? Can you do a separate contract outside of the platform, outside of OpenSea? And we can help those with copyright assignment agreements and other things to get and secure those rights. So last thing before I go, leave OpenSea. Um, let's see here. I went and started my own NFT today. Launched my first NFT, Attorney Steve's first. Here's my page and uh, launched my first NFT. There it is. Love comes in many flavors. Set the price for 0.0015 ETH, $5. And love comes in many flavors. So if you want to have a piece of history, Attorney Steve's first NFT. It's available now. It's available now. Okay, everybody have a great day. I hope this has been helpful. If you like the video, feel free to share it and on your social media networks. Okay, have a great day. This is not legal advice, general legal information only, not investment advice. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.